We've got two absolutely massive relegation six-pointers today. So massive, I don't even have time for a silly intro. Hello and welcome to Season 13, Episode 2 of non to Legend. I'm Kev and coming up on today's episode we have got massive relegation six-pointers at home against Coventry, then at home against Charlton. If we win both of these we have a chance of staying up. If we don't win them both then I think it's going to be a real struggle. Since you were last with me we've managed to pick up a couple of wins, one against Huddersfield, one against Reading, leaving the league table looking a lot like this. I'm probably in the way. I don't know which way to lean to get out of the way. I think I have to go this way. Um, as you can see, we're four points behind Coventry, who we play today. Um, so a win in that game puts us just one point behind them. Then we will play against Charlton, who are just a few points ahead of that. We could be out of the relegation zone at the end of this episode. Or we could be about eight points away from safety with not very long to go. And it could all be going badly wrong. So... Who knows what's going to happen? We, As you can see from that schedule, we are very much a team full of inconsistency at the moment. At least we broke the 15-game unwinning unbe run that the club had before I arrived. The game against Huddersfield was mad. Um, game against Reading, less mad, but very important. Wolves, we got absolutely battered, but... We'll be fine. Um, this is a team that we're going to be playing today. Um, so we've got Viscovo in goal, a back four of McLaren, Powell, Roberts and Egbo, who has a bit of a knock, but he's going to be playing anyway because he needs to. We are struggling a little bit squad-wise. If Well, regardless of whether we stay up or go down, there's a lot of work needs to be done to this squad over the summer. Um, we've got Gajovic, Reed, and Cox in midfield. Duxbury plays in behind the front two. He's been doing that. Every single game since my assistant manager put him there for that first game that we played where I didn't pick the team. He's training there now. He's getting better at it. He's our best player. So let's have him in a really important role where he's influential on the game. It seems to be working. Then we've got Foot playing as a target man and Obi in the team as a poacher. Mark Foot has slowly been adding to his goal scoring tally. He's up to 10 goals for the season now. A player of his quality should be on double that by this point. But, you know, baby steps and all that. If he manages to nab one today and it's the winner against Coventry, then that'll be fine. Um, yes, Duxbury's going to be the captain. doesn't matter that he's only on loan. Um, I don't really care about Swansea. And that is the Blackburn team. Not Blackburn. Why am I saying Blackburn? The Coventry team that we're up against. I don't even know why I would think we're playing Blackburn. There must be something in my head that made me think we were playing Blackburn. Um, apologies for the lack of a video yesterday, by the way. As you can probably tell from my voice and my blotchy face. Oh, we're 1-0 up after three minutes. Michael Powell with the header from a corner. 1-0. Excellent stuff. What does that do to the league table? We can't even see yet. But as I was saying, as you can probably see from my blotchy face and my weird voice... I have got a cold again. I know it's about the third time in three months. In fact, it is the third time in three months. The first cold of the winter, I think, hit me on Boxing Day. And this is my third spell on the sidelines since then. It is mad. But hopefully it's the last one now and I'll kick it. There you go. As it stands right now, we're only one point behind Coventry, who are sat there in 21st place with that massive game against Charlton coming up next. We do need to hold on to this lead, though, and they've equalised... After half an hour, it's one all. A draw in either of these games isn't going to be enough. I know we're a team that haven't put two wins together, two back-to-back -back wins together all season, but now has to be the time. I'm piling the pressure on the team. If we don't do it now, we're never going to have a better opportunity to get out of this relegation zone. So it is just a bit important. We're four points clear from safety if we end as a draw. That's just not enough. We need to be putting the pressure on Coventry. Cross comes in, foots there. What was he even trying to do? I don't even know what that was. Was that a shot? Is that it must have deflected because it's gone out for a throw into us. Foot now finds Gaivich to Duxbury, and that's why he's playing as an attacking midfielder. Tommy Duxbury, his seventh goal of the season. 2 1 just before half time. What a time to score. Tick that off on your cliche bingo, bingo cards. That's a lovely finish as well. Duxbury makes it 2 1. Oh, it's exciting stuff. Let's just hold on until half time now. That's the all important thing. And we've done that. Marvellous stuff. Right, no need for any changes going into the second half. We just want more of the same. Um, ideally, more of the same with us scoring. We don't necessarily need Coventry to score again. That would be unfortunate. But another another couple of goals from us would go down very nicely around about now. Um, how uh, It looks like Charlton are losing in their games. Well, we want them to be low on confidence going into our game against them next. Because remember, 
even if we win this game against Coventry. And that's a big if at the moment because it's down to 2-2 again. They've equalised again. It's that same man again. His name's eerily familiar as well, as if it's a name I should remember. Has he played for us? We've had thousands of players in this save at this point. But that name is very familiar. I might have to... I don't want to click on him, though, because it guarantees he gets his hat-trick then. It's only his third goal of the season. He seems to have decided to score them all against us. It is a bit of a worry that he's coming in down that side where we're playing a right-back who's not fit. We don't really have any other option to play there, though. That's why he's in the team. Um, I guess Michael Watts is the best bet to bring in. We just need to stop having that guy make a mockery of the fact that we're injured down that side. It makes us a little bit more attacking down the right-hand side as well, which is no bad thing. There you go. Kev responding to an injury with with time left on the clock. It's all changed now we're back at Ipswich. It's all good. Right, we're going to take off one of these strikers. The one that's coming off will be Ogo Obi, and we want Foot to go up. Oh, look at that. They're both maxed out. Target man and poacher. This is where Foot's going to go and grab himself a goal and show us that he is the superstar striker that we hope he's going to turn into. Either that or we want him to turn into about 10 million quid over the summer if we get relegated. Or to be honest, if we stay in the, if we stay in this league, I'll take 10 million quid for him and use that to build a, a title winning squad. Right, we are getting a little bit ahead of ourselves though because if we A, don't get back ahead in this game and B, somehow let them get ahead and Duxbury has been sent off and it's all going wrong. I feel the season slipping away from me as I'm talking. Uh We'll still make the same substitution. I don't see why we need to mess around too much. The attacking midfielder was always going to be the player we sacrificed when we still need a goal. I mean, a draw is not enough. We're bottom of the league again as it stands at the moment. 2-2, two, two, not close to being enough for what we need. Should we be taking foot off? I mean, he's not He's not playing well. He has to come off. He needs to learn. Ah. Uh... Any other at any other point of the season, this this is a good result. At this point of the season, it is just not enough. We find ourselves four points away from safety. That's if we manage to hold on. They're coming at us now, and if we end up losing, that that it's all over at that point because Coventry are the team we're trying to chase down. So if we hand them two points, well, it's effectively handing them four points. Oh no! Right, that makes everything much harder than it needed to be. Oh, and it's all Duxbury's fault. Told you we shouldn't have played him. Right, fingers crossed we go and beat Charlton and keep the dream alive. Two weeks have passed. We've had lots of new staff come in. I don't usually show you the staff comings and goings. Let's show you the staff comings and goings. How do we look at staff? I've let the director of football handle all this, so this is nothing to do with me, but there you go. We, I hired him. Chris Brass comes in from Peterborough. Um, he looks like quite a decent director of football. And he's brought in all this lot. So we've got Charlie Austin comes in as a new assistant manager. Would have liked his judging ability to be a little bit better. Can't really get him picking the team, can I, if he can't pick a player? Um, just as well, because he'll put a left back at the, behind the front too, like Tommy Spur did. And then said left back will get himself sent off and ruin our season. And then we've just brought in a load of scouts who are former players who I recognise. And yeah, lots of new staff have come in. So there you go. Sometimes staff come in. That's a good thing. This is the team that we're going to be playing for. Yet another must-win game that we probably won't win um, against Charlton. We've had to make a couple of changes. Duxbury is suspended. And he's suspended for absolutely ages. Um, I think he's got a three-match suspension. Uh, he has a six-match suspension. Why? Why? Why is it six matches? Well, he's out for the rest of the season then, basically. I don't understand why he's got a six-match ban. That's insane. It obviously was pretty a pretty vicious tackle. Um, so, Ogo Obi drops back to play as the attacking midfielder. Martin comes in to be target man, moving foot back over to be the poacher. McGregor comes in for Gaivic in midfield. And I think that... Oh, and Chesmain comes in at left back. Other than that, we are unchanged. Other than those five changes, we're unchanged. We need to give a squad number to Cl oh, Clive. This guy actually has just come through the youth team. He was in our um, he was in our batch of youth prospects. One and a half star current ability, five star potential ability. But he's called Clive, which if you watch my vlog channel, you'll know that I'm a little bit sensitive about that name. But uh, we'll probably just change his name just to Clive. Um, in fact, we need to do that now. 
Farrell set nickname. You are just forevermore, Clive. <sighs> oh, I didn't set any assistant manager instructions. Can I go back and do that? Um, opposition instructions, sorry. There we go, because normally I had that. Oh, I did do that anyway. It's because I've got Charlie Austin, my new assistant manager. I can't remember if I've set him to automatically do all this stuff that I normally don't like to do myself. Oh, this cold and flu medication is... I'm losing the ability to talk. I don't know if you can tell that I'm slurring my words. Hopefully I've edited most of the slurring out, but I feel like I'm just... I feel like you're listening to a crazy old slurry rock star who can't really get his words out properly. Anyway, some nice little tippy-tappy football here in our midfield. Out to Chesmain at left back. Cross comes in. Foots there. Less than two minutes on the clock. We're 1-0 up. That should take us off the bottom of the league. It does. It doesn't take us very far off the bottom of the league, though. Imagine how different things could be if we'd have held on against Coventry. We'd be out of the relegation zone at this point. But we do need to be very careful because we took an early lead against Coventry in the last game. We need to actually go on and win this game now because it's no good keep taking a lead and then dropping back and letting the other team back into it. We need to take a lead and then go on and win. Viscovo makes a save to try and help us do exactly that. We have got a whole load of matches coming up in the next week. I think it's four games in seven days. We're playing against two of the playoff hopefuls. So they're going to be two total defeats. That Oh, see, we've gotten back into the game again. And it feels like that should have been something that the goalkeeper handled a little bit better. If we don't win this game, I think that's probably it. Like I say, the next two games are against top, top teams. Actually, the keeper makes quite a good save. It's just a shame he's not able to push it anywhere else other than right onto the foot of the oncoming striker. I really am fearful, though, that if we go into this next little sequence of games, bottom of the league, four points away from the safety, we're not going not gonna to get enough out of these games to to survive and that's going to be sad I thought we were going to come into Ipswich be super saviours and, and be heroes and survival this year win promotion next year that was a plan we've left so much space in the middle I mean that was just terrible defending I don't even know who's in fact I can see who's supposed to be there he was supposed to be there what's he doing running all the way over here and we've already got all this slot over there that's just poor I mean, that's it. We're five points away from safety with only seven games to go. And the next two of them are against top teams. It's all over. We're going to get sacked before the end of the season. Will they sack me if we get relegated? I know I came in and said I'd be able to save them. But if I can't, will I get sacked? McGregor equalises! What a goal! I mean, that's... Uh, it's opportunistic, but it's I've seen them missed plenty of times. And that's just... I mean, that's awful from their goalkeeper, McGregor. First time. I mean, it's very easy to miss that. It's Yes, it's an open goal, but it's an open goal from a long, long way away. The pressure's on, and it's a very cool finish. Right, we need to, we need to understand the importance of winning this game. Go out there and win the bombing game. Right, Obi, what can he do if it finds McGregor? To Cox, Cox back to Reed, to Cox again. Chess main with the chance to cross... And he doesn't... <clears throat> my voice is going to disappear from me before the end of this match if I continue trying to commentate on it. I'm really conscious of that points gap. we got to get a winner, a draw. Like in the last game, a draw is just not good enough. We've got to be winning these games against the teams around us because the next couple of games are against teams much better than we are. And we're definitely going to lose those. Oh! OK, I'll take the draw. I'd rather have the draw than the defeat. Oh, two of our last four games were against Plymouth and South End as well. It's written that one of those two is going to be the team that relegates us. I don't know which set of fans will get more satisfaction out of it. Probably the Plymouth fans. I think, despite them never showing any interest in taking me back, I think we left South End on quite good terms. Not so much with Plymouth. They are going to be absolutely delighted at the prospect of relegating Ipswich with me in charge. Oh, this is not. This was supposed to be the fairy tale return. This is not how it's supposed to be. Shall we bring Clive on? I know he's a young kid, and it's probably crazy, but oh, and he can do defensive forwards. Well, you know how much I love a defensive forward. He might just turn out to be a hero. It feels like a time to bring on the fifteen-year-old kid and just see what he's made of. 
this is either going to make him or break him playing in a high pressure situation like this. And that, by the way, cliche bingo, you can have that one as well. Webster can come on at right back because Egbo is still not fully fit. We've got, we've, I mean, we've, realistically, we've got to score two goals. Just equalising is not enough. We're six points away from safety at the moment. This is not a pretty situation to be in. Right, foot. What can he do? Absolutely nothing is what he can do. Clive's still got Farrell on his shirt for some reason. I guess the shirts were printed before we gave him his new name. But, um, I mean, that's poor. Oh, this wasn't how this episode was supposed to go. We were supposed to be sitting... Pre I mean, look at those games coming up now. What are we supposed to do with this? I think it's all over. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And thank you very much for watching.